Hi, I'm Katie from Bantu Media and I'm going to show you how to use the WooCommerce Password Protected Categories plugin to create a WooCommerce wholesale store where you can sell different products to different customers. So there are various reasons you might want to sell customer specific products in a WooCommerce wholesale store. For example, you might sell um, industrial or workwear or something like that in terms of clothing and you may want to sell each customer unique items with their company logo on. You might be a designer or a printing company and want to um, sell each customer uh, items with their um, own branding that you've designed for them and uh, that kind of thing. You might have white label items that, you're set, that you have branded to each of your customers so that they can then sell on um, under their own branding. So that's another reason why you might want to create a hidden area for each customer with unique products that only they can access. So we're going to do that using a plugin called WooCommerce Password Protected Categories, which works along WooCommerce. And for this tutorial, I've created just a basic WordPress website. So this is a simple site that just has the storefront theme, which is a free WooCommerce theme installed. Uh, you can use any theme you like. And I'll show you what plugins I've got. You just need two plugins to follow the steps in this tutorial. So I'll go to the plugins list and show you. So we've got WooCommerce, which is the free WooCommerce plugin that you need to create your products, checkout, cart, payment gateways, all that sort of thing. And you also need WooCommerce password protected categories, which is what allows you to create hidden areas for each client within your WooCommerce wholesale store. So what I've done so far is I've set up WooCommerce and I've added some products. And as you could see from the front end of my website a minute ago, those products are currently just appearing on the normal shop page. That is not what I want because I want to create a hidden category for each client so that my wholesale customers can log in and just see the products which are relevant to them. So we're going to do that by going to products categories in the WordPress admin and we want to create a different category for each of your wholesale clients. So Let's call this one company one. So this is just adding a new category as usual. The only thing that's different is that we have a visibility section, which has been added by WooCommerce password protected categories. So you go to password protected and just, um, I'm going to call it company one um, to remember, add new category. Now, if you want, you can also create subcategories and um, that allows you to create whole areas within each wholesale customer's store. So company one, you might sell different categories of products to. If they are buying um, workwear from you or something like that, then perhaps you would have um, one for office wear and another for industrial wear. So you might have, I'll, I'll do that here, office clothing. And what you do is you set the parent to your password protected category. And this time you want the visibility to be public because it's a subcategory. So there we've got the subcategory underneath the parent category. So the parent category is password protected and the subcategories we've left as public. And the reason for that is because they will automatically be protected with the same category password as the parent category. So I added the password company one for company one and if I want to access the, the office clothing category I will also have to enter the same password which is company one. It doesn't need its own unique password and that is really convenient for your customers because it means that they only have to enter that one password to enter access any of the content within their area of the store. So they might access a product page directly if they've already got the link. They might access either of these category pages. And if they enter that one password, company one, it will all be unlocked for them while still being invisible to the rest of the world. So I'm going to create another category, company two, like that. And I'm going to password protect that company two. And you can add multiple passwords if you want as well. 
Um, so if you did want different staff members at your um, at the companies that you're selling to, for example, to have their own password so that you can revoke them when a staff member leaves or something like that, then you can do that. So you can have as many passwords as you want for each category. And then you've got, we've got two categories, which I haven't password protected properly. So we'll just go back in there. You can see from the list if I've done something wrong. So I want that to be password protected. And we'll go back to the product categories page and make sure it's all correct. So this visibility column is really handy because you can check if you've missed a setting or anything like that. The next thing we need to do is put products within our password protected categories. I've already got some products. If you don't, you can just add them by the products, add products section. But because I've already got mine, I'm just going to hover over each one and click quick edit. And then I'm just going to put them in one or more categories. Now, you can't put it in um, two different password protected categories. Um, so each product just has to be within one customer's area. But you can put it in a category and a subcategory if they're in the same section. So I'm going to do that for various products and click update. I'm just doing this randomly, but obviously you would do it properly according to your actual customers and what products they should have access to. So I'm doing it for various random products so that you can see how it works. I will put one more in company too. The next thing we're going to do is check the plugin settings page to make sure that um, the, it's all working as we want. So we go to WooCommerce settings and then go to the products tab. And here you'll see a section called password protected categories, which is added by the WooCommerce password protected categories plugin. So you enter your license key and um, there's also some important options relating to category visibility. Now you'll see that there are boxes that you can tick to show your protected categories and products in the public parts of the store. Do not do this. If you're having a WooCommerce wholesale store which has customer specific products, you do not want them to show anywhere else on the site because they are confidential to that client. So don't tick these boxes. You can choose how long before your customers have to re-enter the password to unlock their categories. You can choose a page where people can log in and you can change you can customize the form as well so um, i'm going to change that to enter your company's password to access your wholesale products whatever you want there and you can customize the text on the button and stuff like that as well so that's all what appears when people have to enter the password so those are the settings there's only a few of them and they're all fairly self-explanatory so the final thing we want to do is go to add a login form for people to log into the categories. So we can add this to anywhere on your website basically, but go to, if you go to pages, add new, then I'm gonna write wholesale login. That sounds self-explanatory. And then you want to add a short code, which is category underscore login and that is what's going to insert the category login form where people enter the password onto your page and like I said you can put this short code category underscore login anywhere you want on your website you might want to put it in um, the widget or the footer or whatever you want and then we're going to publish the page and we will add that to the menu so appearance menus um, you can think about how you want people to be able to access that, um, but some people might want to have a link to their wholesale site in their menu. Others may want to hide it and just email people the link or put it somewhere more subtle like the footer or something. It's entirely up to you. So, But I'm going to add it to the menu for simplicity. So I've found it in the pages section of appearance menus and I've just added that page to the menu and I'm going to save it. Now let's have a look at our site and see how it all works. So here we've got my home page, which is currently set to show um, my shop. Um, you can't tell this at the moment, but this shop will not show the products which are in the hidden categories. So if you do want to have a public shop as well as your hidden customer specific wholesale areas, then that's fine. Um, if you don't tick those two boxes, 
to do with visibility on the plugin settings page, which I showed you before, then um, the hidden product won't show here. So you just your product, your public ones will. So that's a good way to sell to the public as well as having hidden wholesale categories. Or you can just have static content on your homepage or whatever you want, obviously. You can set your homepage to anything you like. So I'm gonna to go to the wholesale login page. And as you can see, we've got a login form here where you enter the password and that's the customizable text that I wrote onto the plugin settings page. So I created this by adding that short code. So I'm going to add enter the category password. It was company one, wasn't it? Company one, and I'm going to log in. And this has showed the five products which I put within company one. Um, so that is only people who have got the password for company one can see that. So depending on which password you enter on the login form, the plugin will cleverly redirect you to the correct category. So that's really convenient for your wholesale customers. So if you wanted your companies to be able to do that, then you just direct them to the wholesale login page and they'd enter their password. So now I'm going to enter a different password to show you what I mean, which is company two and that's going to show me different products so now there's two results which i put under company two so as you can see you just go to the wholesale login page and you can enter any password to be directed to the correct category and um, so that's it i've shown you how to create a woocommerce store with a hidden wholesale area you can either just have one category for all your wholesale products or what we've been talking about in this video is how you can have a different category with products that are specific to each of your customers. So they have their own password and they'll be directed to their own hidden products. I hope that was useful to you. If you get WooCommerce Password Protected Categories plugin, then it comes with uh, full support and uh, regular plugin updates and a detailed knowledge base on how to use it. So search the knowledge base and get in touch if you need any help getting it set up on your own wholesale website. Thanks for watching.